Yes, fraternal greetings, salam to Tainayas Telin, in the Ethiopian language, salam to Tainayas Telin, Wendemoch, Ehitoch, brothers and sisters. Shalom, right? Shalom Lachem, Shalom Lachem to my um, Israelite brothers and sisters and those of we, the black Jews of the line of the tribe of Judah, Ethiopian Hebrews, the royal order of the Ethiopian Hebrews. So here, here, we was asked, right? We was asked by um, one of our brethren, right? One of our Israelite brothers, right? Black Yehudi. You know, Yehudi brothers, right? Black Jew. You know, that's who we be, right? Let's recognize the reality. But we was asked, right? We was asked about the whole Ethiopia Tigray, the Ethiopia Tigray conflict. And this has been really hot news, you know, within the community and the communities, especially those of us as, say, Rastafari, Rastafari. You know, over here in the Americas, you know, Black American Rastafari, you know, we say like Black Jamaican and, and the Caribbean Rastafari and South and Central, you know, over here in this Western Hemisphere and also healing up those, you know, over in, in the UK as well, in France, the French-speaking territories, the Spanish-speaking territories. Many have been speaking on this, even on the IG and social media. We see a lot of um, postings, a lot of memes, you know, pray for Ethiopia. And I say, yeah, pray for Ethiopia. May, may the Ethiopians, the careful ones and the careless ones, may they pray for themselves. All right, so here we call this right here a kind of a basic address, right? A basic address. When we say the Ethiopia Tigray conflict or the Ethiopia Civil War question mark, the Ethiopians will be all right. What about you, Negroes? What about you black folks? What about you black peoples? Right? Because we see a lot of ones who are pro, we could say Ethiopian. Some from a the Judeo Christian roots, you know, as as we the Black Jews and the Royal Order of Ethiopian Hebrews and other more right, you know, Israelites. Of course, some of the ain't rights, you know, that's a whole other level of our ain't right brothers and sisters because we all have it. This is what's going on even among the Ethiopians. You know what I mean? It's like a family affair, you know, different things happen in the family, so forth and so on. But what we see is that a lot of ones are jumping out of the proverbial penthouse window on this particular subject matter, are doing too much, saying too much. Right now, we ourselves, I, Ross, I, Adonis Tafari, the national president, duly elected now, duly elected national president of the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated. Oh, that reminds me, I posted the other video. I have to go back and put that in the description in the links. I definitely have to put it in this description and links, you know, because many things are going on even amongst us over here in the Americas, you know, after almost 90 years, nearly 90 years of this particular historic organization, you know, founded by, you know, black people, especially black Americans, many of I and I ancestors. Yes, I'm a Rastafari, but yes, I'm a, what they would call, quote, a black American Rastafari, because many people have the idea, you know, that Rastafari means that you Jamaican. No, those, those are our Benjamite brothers right there. We are Yehuda, Judahites up here in this North country, here in this wilderness. But because of that duly elected office right, of national president, there's one local, the only one local, the local of the whole. There's one local, local, local of the whole. Right? Membership have initiated this process over the past a little less than a decade right now. But still there are, you know, schemers and scammers and a lot of dubious individuals misrepresenting why right, the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated out there. Now, some of these people might be wanting to say stuff about us as well. It's interesting because they use a lot of the content that we have created, historical content on behalf of the organization to go against you know, the duly elected, you know, officers, including I and I cells. But that's not, that's not the message right here. We have been in communication with Ethiopia, especially this year and even previous years where we were, you know, duly elected, you know, as a officer or even just as a member with Ethiopia. So the real works we can, you know, the works will speak, 
the work will speak for themselves. So when we say that many ones and ones are doing too much, are saying too much, are 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 joining sides, right? You know, are being partial because this particular conflict, the Tigray up in the northern region, you know, they are the ones that many would look at to see say the bad guy. Now we're not saying that they're the good guy or they're the bad guy, but these are some of Ethiopia's own um, internal internal matters, internal issues, right? And we should be very circumspect and careful, especially those of us who are part of pro-Ethiopia, you know, pro-black people, but pro-Ethiopia, or as Rastafari, whether you are a member of the Federation or a member of, you know, some alleged local or something like that, so forth and so on, you should be very careful. Many are speaking very recklessly, and are just jumping off of any kind of news report or anything that's out there like on Facebook, on social media. I mean, we came across some news and information that um, um, Prime Minister Abi, he was re-elected, Abi uh, Ahmed, that he even said some things on social media that they said was inciting violence and he had to take down one of his posts because it was considered to be inciting violence. You know what I mean? Now imagine we pick up on that and we now put this out there so forth and so on, but do you really even know? Here's the question to a lot of the rosters, a lot of the roster far, a lot of the ones that, you know, allege that they're part of the Federation and so forth and so on, you know, the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated and others out there and others, et al, and others out there. Et al means and others in legal talk, legal language. Um, what do you really know? about Ethiopia. And I'm not talking, you know, some will say they've gone and they visit. You know, a lot of ones can go, you can visit the place and you see, take nice pictures and everything, but that don't mean that you really even know the history of the place or the people. Have you really done your research? Have you really studied? Right? And this is what we begin to recognize that a lot of ones are speaking so recklessly, right? are speaking very recklessly and publicly, and publicly concerning this uh, present um, crisis, this conflict, some might say a kind of a civil war, maybe, maybe not. We say it looks like a civil war to us. It, it, that's what it looks like, right? But especially as a officer, a duly elected officer of the Ethiopian World Federation Corp, just how you know, you can know who's the true from who's not, because here we're going to refer to the Constitution, right? The Constitution, right? The Constitution and bylaws, right? Constitution and bylaws, nonpartisan character. Now here we're looking at Article, Article One, Section Seven of the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated Constitution and Bylaws. So we have to do this message. It's important. One, my brother in, you know, and hail up, you know, brother Miguel, you know, Ach Miguel, and also the other brothers gonna hopefully join you all up in the clubhouse again also we check check out the podcast the podcast as well moving into this sabbatical study right right now right here you know so to those shabbat shalom send that salam right here and right now but he asked me the other day you know what about you know to do a video or to you know go into that we spoke a little briefly about that on the clubhouse we touched on certain particular matters the first thing i shared with the the achim right the wendemoch you know the brothers the first thing that we shared was a historical view we need to understand the history of ethiopia and the ethiopians ethiopia is not a monolith according to the teaching of gormawi nagus Neges, his imperial majesty right according to him his imperial majesty ethiopia is not a monolith a monolith means like one stone like one stone out of one piece of rock right it's more like say like a pyramid or like a wall where many stones have been brought together right brought together Right? Almost like a pyramid is a good example. Many stones have fit together, but now, you know, there's a lot of divisions, right? Why? That, these are questions that we just need to ask and not to rush to some easy answer, right? Not to rush to some easy answer. That's why we say that the Ethiopians will be all right. What about you, black people? What about, when I say you black people, I'm talking about the black people here in the Americas and the Caribbean. Right? The pro Ethiopia, the pro Ethiopian, the pro EWFI black people in the Americas and the Caribbean. Right? And some say, well, because we are Federation and the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated, 
but well first of all let me say this right here there's many ones right who hold themselves out for years and the proof and the evidence is on their mismanagement right so this has happened in many different organizations right not just this organization right but being a duly elected officer it's important for us to speak and to just warn right even the fellows who may be members but may be doing activities right that are not constitutional and not according to the bylaws now we're not going to reveal anything that's section 11 you know section 11 a lot of ones have been doing that right because we have to be answerable right both to the executive committee right we are also answerable to the worldwide membership there's a worldwide membership movement please check out our ethos we got to find a way to to link that as well in the description so ones can read that ones who are interested right because like we said there's a lot of fraudulent activity there's a lot of schemers and scammers out there, right? And a lot of ones who just don't want to do things according to the rules and regulations, right? And the procedures, right? The rules and regulations. This is why I'm pointing to the Constitution. Now, another interesting thing about this whole conflict, November 4th was a year to the very day that a lot of this started. What many people don't recognize that November 4th is the, the, the day that... His Imperial Majesty, Gormawi, Kermawi, Haile Selassie, Nugusa Negeste, Ethiopia, Moa, and Bessazem, Negeti, Yehuda, Siyume, Xiabia, is the same day that the King of Kings, Haile Selassie I, right, gave the second constitution in 1955. So the 1955 constitution, the anniversary day, is the same day that started and kicked off this year long conflict. Isn't this interesting? Right, some say that's a coincidence, two incidences, right? But this is more than a coincidence because it's also the same day, November 4th, that the constitution and bylaws of the EWFI, of the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated, was adopted November, right? November 4th. Now, many will say, well, it wasn't established in August 25th, 1937. Yes, the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated was established, in other words, as an entity with the permission, right, of our sovereign, our king, even the king of king, the black messiah, Kenemawi Hala Selassie. It was established, right, along with our angel, our Emmanuel, Dr. Malaku Emmanuel Bayan. It was established, in other words, that's when the corporate documents, the, you know, documents of incorporation were approved for us to function here, right, officially on behalf of Ethiopians at home and abroad. That's what August. 25th 1937 that's when the entity the organization was established in 1937 right august so then a couple of months later on the membership right along with the the delaney lewis and williams law firm and dr malaco emmanuel bayan his majesty's personal physician and cousin that they had had adopted what we now hold to as the constitution and bylaws and make sure if you see a copy you get an original copy because a lot of ones have tampered with it and added different things there membership membership the membership um the membership um fee is a dollar and membership dues is still 10 cents now people might want to say oh we need to get more money than 10 cents and so on see let's do it the right way let's do the right way that's five dollars and 20 cents a year Right. There are other ways of voluntary uh, subscription to the organization. Definitely have to put the link in the description right here, here, here. Right. Because the Ethiopian government knows of the truth. Right. Because over the past almost decade, right, this membership movement. Right. Others might sound a lot of ones are out there trying to clone what we have been doing. They're trying to clone what we're doing. They even try to clone the website and so forth and so on. But hopefully, by and by, we'll get to, you know, the root of this matter. It's a properly informed public, right? Because many ones are maybe being misled by certain rogue individuals, certain scammers and schemers out there that's not representing. And y'all can say, let me, let me tell you to the haters out there of some of the other groups, you can say what you want to say, right? Y'all can say what you want to say. Bring the proof and the evidence, 
We want to see the documents. Bring the documents. Bring the paperwork. Bring your receipts. Bring your receipts. We'll bring our paperwork, our documents, and we'll bring the invoices. See, it's the invoices we're going to hit them with. Because the invoice is what they owe, right? What they owe, right? What they owe. Receipts is what you pay for. But here, looking at the Constitution, right? The Constitution and bylaws, right? Let's just quote the preamble right here. We, the black peoples of the world, in order to affect unity, solidarity, liberty, freedom, and self-determination to secure justice and maintain the integrity of Ethiopia, which is our divine heritage, do hereby establish and ordain this constitution for the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated. So when we go into the record, we find that November 4th is very, very significant. November 4th is very, very significant, right? So to recognize that this conflict that threatens to really divide right, our divine heritage, right, it is concerning to all of us. Therefore, we have to take care how we speak and to be nonpartisan, right, nonpartisan. So the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated is to be nonpartisan. If you see ones and ones out there in social media elsewhere, like they're saying, oh, we need to go against the Tigray, or we need to go against the Oromo, or we need to go against them hard, or go against this group or that group, you should know that they are not in the spirit of the Ethiopian World Federation Corporate and that they are violating, right? They are not defending and protecting, but they have violated the basic principles of the Constitution and bylaws. Because Article 1, Section 7 says, nonpartisan character. The Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated shall be nonpartisan and nonpolitical in character. But in cases where partisan, political, or other issues tend to affect not effect, but affect the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated adversely in the carrying out of its aims and objects, it shall be free to combat such issues with the best legal means at its disposal. Now, once I say, why did you read this? Well, I read this from Article 1 and Article 1 of the Constitution and bylaws of the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated, Article 1, is the name, aims, and objects. So can we go through this? This is what we should be promoting if we're going to promote anything, right? As a federation member, right? As a committee, or if one's call themselves locals, there's only one local. There's only one local at this present time officially of the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated, and it's the local of the whole. That means that all of the members, right, who are right and accurate, rightly and accurately working in the Constitution and bylaws are members of the local of the whole. People say, well, well that's not in the Constitution. Well, Robert's Rules, doesn't the Constitution says anything that's not contained in here? Go to Robert's Rules, right, of parliamentary procedures. Because before we can even say certain things as a duly elected officer or even just as a member of the Federation, we have to take heed that we have our emotions, our feelings, our thoughts, our personal perspectives, so forth and so on. But to speak that way publicly as a member or an officer of the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated is reckless. Right? And not only is reckless right to yourself but it's more reckless to others who say oh that's what it is and this is what we see is happening now because this present conflict and crisis that's going on in ethiopia and the tigray the region the conflict so forth and so on and most ones don't even know enough about the history of the organ now, the history of ethiopia they don't know enough about the history of the organization either but you know the history you know of the you know, and another point I've got to make is that the Ethiopian World Federation Corporate is not a Rastafari or Rastafarian organization. This doesn't mean that Rastafari, Rastafari Ketamawi Hala Selassie is the one who has given us permission, is our sovereign. But it's for we, the black peoples of the world, in the context, 
right, of our Ethiopian heritage, of the links of Ethiopia to who we be, right? Now, that's why we say we the royal order of the Ethiopian Hebrews, right? So others might not be Ethiopian Hebrews. They might be Ethiopian Christian or Ethiopian this or Ethiopian that. But what we have as a common denominator is the connection of Ethiopia for us, and for I, it's the Israelites of Ethiopia, that particular heritage, right, that, that we identify with personally and corporately, right, even with the LOJ, the Lion of Judah, Society of His Majesty, the Brotherhood. But here, this is our government. This is our parliament right here, right? And therefore, we have to be very circumspect. This is not a dictatorship. There's ones running around trying to hold himself out as, as international president and president for life with a lot of dictatorial, like, like I said, we have a constitution and a bylaws. There's a, there's a procedure, right? There's like rules and regulation, right? And there's documentation, there's evidence, right? But this is the first, this is the first thing. The name, aims, and objects, section one. The name of this organization shall be the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated. Section 2. The aims and objects of the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated shall be A. The A point, right? To promote love and goodwill among Ethiopians at home and abroad and thereby to maintain the integrity and sovereignty of Ethiopia. To disseminate the ancient Ethiopian culture among its members to correct abuses, relieve oppression, and call for ourselves and our posterity a destiny comparable with our idea of perfect manhood and God's purpose in creating us, that we may not only save ourselves from annihilation, but carve for ourselves a place in the sun. In this endeavor, we determine to seek peace and pursue it, for it is the will of God for man. So here we are under section, Article 1, Section 2, Section 2A. That's just Section 2A. Can we review just briefly, mine, Section 2A, brothers and sisters and others, and others who are, you know, who are tuning into this, can we just review some basics right here, right, of section, right, 2A, Article 1, Section 2A, can we? Yeah, 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 yeah. So getting into more of the details here, it's about to be podcast time, but let's just go over um, 2A, Article 1, Right, section 2A, to promote love and goodwill among Ethiopians at home and abroad. Let's just pause there for a moment, that phrase right there. This means that we cannot be partial on one side or the next side, even if native Ethiopian, the Ethiopians in Ethiopia that we might agree with are against this next group of Ethiopians, so forth and so on. We, especially we as the members, Right, and duly elected officers should not support anything if we truly stand for Ethiopia. I know there's many ones who say they stand for Ethiopia, but is it to really stand for Ethiopia as Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated members? Or let's be honest, is it to fame ourselves? There's a lot of things that we have done and we do, and most of time we don't talk about it, we don't put it out over here, and some things we don't want to say because it will hurt. Right, the aim, the name, the aims and objects, right, of the Ethiopian World Federation to promote love and goodwill among Ethiopians at home and abroad. The first thing we should become familiar with is well, well, who's who? We can't go out there against the Tigray Ethiopians or against the Oromo Ethiopians or against the Amhara Ethiopians. Now, there may be cases where maybe one is correct or next is not, but we have to remember promoting love and goodwill amongst Ethiopians at home and abroad, right? That means to be non-partisan and non-partial and to maintain and thereby, here you go, and thereby and by promoting. So the key is that love and that goodwill among Ethiopians at home and abroad and thereby by doing that there, we maintain the integrity and sovereignty, 
So much talk about sovereignty. Well, this is the key. This is the groundation of our sovereignty, functioning our own self-government, our own self-government. Right? It's about all of us as the members. So the members have decided, right? And over the past five to almost seven plus years have been in this process that we, in this current year, 2021, are the duly elected national president. All right, we can get into the details. I'm going to have more. Give thanks to the first international vice president, Ras Obadiah, Ras Abdiu, you know, Brother Lloyd Robinson. Give thanks so much, you know, for the council of other brothers. This is why it's a worldwide. The brothers over in the UK, we're over here in the USA. There's others in the Florida area. Heal up the second international vice president, Yvonne Jarrett, a.k.a. Mama Ide. Ma Ide, also financial secretary, Deborah E. Walters. We can list who are the duly elected, the secretary, Dana Simpson. You know what I mean? Have to really point to one to one. One's also Ross Seymour, right? Laborde, you know, our chaplain, you know, um, Reverie James, right? Reverie James, Sister Trish, Brother Lawrence, Lawrence Davis. Uh, make sure I don't miss nobody. Don't want to miss nobody who's a part of the, you know, the duly elected officers that are representing, right, over a hundred of members. Right, members. They're members, but there's a set of ones who are active members, right? Who are representing the membership interests, right? Worldwide, worldwide, not global. We bun the word global. Some run around with global. We say worldwide because that's in tune with our constitution and bylaws. Even the words we choose, especially when we are representing, right, and seek to maintain the integrity and sovereignty of Ethiopia. So to maintain the sovereignty of Ethiopia, we can't be going against one particular group or ethnicity, even if there is some civil war, some situation going on on the ground right there. There's other ways, right, that we can seek to bring both sides together or to speak to both sides without making certain public pronouncements as though we support this ethnicity against that ethnicity. And then we talk about the Federation, the Ethiopian World Federation, EWFI. See, there's many others out there. Those who are not part of the official, the official, we say the official organization are doing that. Those who are part of other things that they have done to maybe fame themselves are doing that. Right? There's an election coming up right now. We're not guaranteed to be the duly you know, elected, maybe the national president or maybe even anywhere on the executive committee. You know, that's not guaranteed. That's the membership. That's the membership decision. So this is why putting out this word hopefully can encourage even more native Ethiopians, Ethiopians at home and more of us abroad and to heal up to those Ethiopians even in Ethiopia. Right, former mayor Shashimani, the Shashimani, the regional authority, the federal government. You know, this this doesn't mean that we agree necessarily with. You know, like we talk about um, um Abi. He said some things that was very reckless. Even Facebook said inciting violence. Right, could be the pressure of what they are going through at home. Right, but when we're representing the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated, our patron Dr. Malaku I Emmanuel Bayan. Right, and also our sovereign Kedamawi Hala Selassie, we have to maintain that integrity and sovereignty of Ethiopia. And the only way to do that is promoting love and goodwill. And the challenge is especially when there's a conflict or a crisis or a civil war. As we said, we'll say it again. The Ethiopians, right? The Ethiopians, you know, they're going to be good. They're going to be all right, right? They're going to be all right. But what about you? What about we, the black people? Right, we the black people of the world. Right, so we the black people of the world. Once again, the preamble, in order to affect unity, solidarity, liberty, freedom, and self determination, to secure justice and maintain the integrity of Ethiopia, which is our divine heritage, do hereby establish and ordain this constitution for the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated. As we said, according to our historical data and research, it was November fourth. And November 4th was the very same day when this conflict about a year ago, right? So we're in 2021, going back to 2020, right? Erupted in Ethiopia. It goes on to say to disseminate the ancient Ethiopian culture among its members. Disseminating. This is what we, 
right? You could say in in the private, you know, like you would say in the in 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 the private um, world, so to speak, right? Because here we're in a particular public office, but in the private world, you know, do with the lion of the tribe of Judah society, with the teaching of His Majesty, with the language, even the podcast, the Rastafari podcast on Discipleship Radio, even on this platform here, right? It's still disseminating. My disseminate means sowing the seeds of the ancient Ethiopian culture, right? The ancient Ethiopian culture. And this is not going back just to 10,000 BC, right? This is first and foremost getting a good groundation, right? In the time, in his times that he has shown that he is the blessed and only potentate. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, yes, I, the conquering line of the tribe of Judah. Go to Maui, Negusin, I guess, and Maui, Hala Salasi, Siumek, Ziavia. So, especially that Judeo Christian culture there, but also the other cultures of Ethiopia as well. I always did a video about the Gullah, the Gala, the Gullah. We say, they, they say Gala, but we say Gullah over here and the links between, potential links between our people in the South Carolina and Georgia Sea Islands, right? And the Ethiopians and the Israelites of Ethiopia, we see a very credible, we have facts, evidence. This is all part of that dissemination, sowing the seeds of our ancient Ethiopian culture among the members, the members of the body, to correct abuses. See, correcting abuses, there's some things that are going on in this present conflict that are, from our observation, abuses. There's abuses that's going on. But to say that we're going to just jump out of the penthouse window and just blah, 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 and then say, yeah, we're representing the Federation, this is reckless. So I'm calling to even those other members who might be in different things that they call Federation to slow your roll on that while we still seek to work out the, the unity. We stand for Ethiopia in her united capacity. Right. We stand for, in her united capacity and to heal up to that group. You know, we stand for Ethiopia. Many of our members are on that group. Right? They haven't chosen to invite the national president. But be that as it may. Right. We understand what the Constitution say. Maybe that's the reason why. But still over here, we got to speak to the, the black people and these here United States of America. And as far as our voice will carry, please, please like and share. Right. Subscribe as well. But it goes on to relieve oppression. And we say down oppression. Right. And call for ourselves and our posterity. A destiny comparable with our idea of perfect manhood and God's purpose in creating us. That's deep right there. Right there, there, there. Because we have to ask ourselves, because many of the ones who founded this organization were part of what we say the best and the bless of our black, we could say Christian, you know, black Jewish. This is the key. They were part of the best of the black Christian and black Jewish, right, uh, Yehudi, Israelite, right, community, right, part of the best and the blessed of it. And they were not so-called like Ethiopian Orthodox or of the particular, you know, practices of the Beta Israel of Ethiopia as far as they know and practice uh, Yehudinet, uh, Judaism, as one may say, or the ancient Hebraic, Judaic creed and the faith. You, you know what I'm saying? But they were the ones who founded this organization along with Dr. Malako Emanuel Bayer. This is the real organization that black people should be about. And just to heal up the elder, the elder Pharaoh, the elder Pharaoh say that. We are putting forward an invite to you to please, you know, contact. Let's reason. Love to have the brother on the podcast, you know, and also to be on his particular um, um, podcast, his channel. He has a channel, Pharaoh Say That. It's the elder out there, you know, caught his video. Might share a little bit more of his observation. He mentioned the Shashamani Land Grant, the Federation, you know, Black American, the Elder of Elders, Katamawi Hala Selassie. So, this is how we carve for ourselves and our posterity a destiny comparable with our idea of perfect manhood and God's purpose. Exiavia, Ha Elohim, Haile Hims. Purpose. Here we also go into the Hebrew and the Royal Mark and the Goodness. Purpose in creating us. What is his purpose? It's about our divine heritage, right? That we may not only carve, see, that, that we may not only save, went back up there to carve for ourselves and our posterity, a destiny comparable with our idea of perfect manhood and God's purpose in creating us. That we may not only save ourselves from annihilation, but carve, 
Get that word? But what? But carve for ourselves a place in the sun. So we have to carve for ourselves in our posterity. Right? So that speaks to the spiritual groundation of who we are and our true culture, our true roots and culture. And it says, but carve for ourselves a place in the sun. Right? That's where the whole Shashimani, the land grant, the other sustainable land grants come in. Carve for ourselves in our posterity. Right? And carve for ourselves a place in the sun. In this endeavor, we determine to seek peace and pursue it. For it is the will of God for man. So ones and ones want to talk like really kind of blasphemous and say like the, you know, the true roots of the Bible and scripture. Remember, it was black Americans and others from the Caribbean here in this north country of America that came together with the, the angel Malaku, Dr. Malaku, Emmanuel. God is with us, Emmanuel. That's how we're Emmanuel Bayan here in this north country came together to to establish right the constitution and bylaws right it's not like the constitution match he gave to ethiopia he gave that but he gave us the sovereignty right in his sovereignty right this document so it's very important to our ancestors right that not only do we talk about the constitution but we put it into practice here in psalm 34 and 14 it says depart from evil and do good seek peace and pursue it so here in the constitution and bylaws of the ethiopian world federation incorporated article one section two a right it says right here right in this endeavor we determine to seek peace and pursue it and pursue ha for it is the will the will of god of Right, of Ixiavi here in the Ethiopian language, right, of Yahweh, Yahweh, of Ha Elohim, of the true power, the true Trinity, the Hebrew Trinity, right, for man, for man. So let us recognize it. We're going to touch on a little bit more right here. We really have to, you know, get ready for, you know, tonight right here. I haven't checked out that video, but I'm sure it's a very good video. You can see some of the stills right here, you know, that we have already just to go into some of the basics. Right. So we can really educate. Right. We really have to educate ourselves. So if we stand for Ethiopia, we need to educate ourselves. We need to be non-partial, not take sides, but let's hear everybody's side of it in this conflict here. But the first things first is we have to listen to the teaching of his majesty. Right. The teaching of his majesty and our divine heritage, which is that Judeo-Christian faith. That's the core right there. And I suspect that there's some of my fellows because of Western whitewash, white Anglo-Saxon Protestant Christianity are a little bit adverse to the Bible and also to certain Judaic Hebraic studies and certain Christ or Christian related studies because of what they've gone through among the European with counterfeit Christianity. But we have to remember that how this organization was established, it gives us the right order of the context, but it's not a religious organization, right? Let us take good note of that, that it's not a religious organization, right? It's not a religious organization, but our faith plays an important role. It was founded by those of the Judeo, the black Judeo-Christian faith, right? And it can only be sustained even in this time in this generation by those who, if they're not professing, so to speak, they cannot be antagonistic to that, right? Because remember, it says to depart from evil and do good, do good, that heartbeat, seek peace and pursue it. Here in Article 1, Section 2A, at the end of 2A, it says, for it is the will of God for man. What is the will of God for man? Determined to seek peace and pursue it. That's Psalm, that's Psalm 34, verse 14. Check it out for yourself. Psalm 34, 14. Give us the teaching of his majesty because I and I not want, right? We not want no devil's philosophy, right? So here, the national president of the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated for 2021, I, Ras Ayodonis Tafari, just speaking to all the groups, first of all, we stand for Ethiopia, all the other groups, the other, um, you know, alleged presidents, you know, I say alleged, not talking about this, but in other groups out there, you know, not to get into that even so much publicly so, but we're asking ones to fall back on a lot of that reckless talk. 
right? That reckless talk, joining one group of Ethiopians, so-called against the next. That goes contrary, right, to our constitution and bylaws because the Ethiopians will be all right. They will be all right. You have to remember that they have thousands of years history, even the Solomon, the Sheba, that whole heritage and legacy, right? We trace it to like 36, uh, more than 3,000, roughly going to like 3,600 years ago. And more or less, and most times more than less, has been professing that and practicing that. This is why our links go to the roots of the Israelites in Ethiopia, Minyalik, the Queen of Sheba, the 1,000 from each of the 12 tribes, right? Even some things about Ganda. I like Ganda because they're the ones with the star of David and also with the cross right there, 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 right? But even that right there, we can disseminate and reason on that, but there's the real work of the organization, right? The real work of the membership. And that real work begins with, you know, the attitude of our hearts and minds, right, to promote, right, love and goodwill among Ethiopians at home and abroad. So here is the first group to publicly identify ourselves, right, not as Negroes, not as colored, right, not as any of these other bywords, Right? The bywords could brought us into a new time. Look to Africa where a black man will be crowned king. In him you'll find the Redeemer. Right? That's the words right there of Reverend James Morris Webb, another black American. We see him as a black American Rastafari as I and I. Right? So of course we embrace our brothers and sisters. But speaking to this subject matter, right, the Ethiopians will be all right. And we study their history, they will be all right. The best thing that we can do is to promote love and goodwill. Right? Love and goodwill, right? Amongst Ethiopians at home and abroad. Right? And we can do that in, in little ways. And you know, speaking words of encouragement, right? or to discourage some kind of activities amongst them, right, that clearly will lead to, like, succession, right? You know, pushing the Tigra to that point could lead to succession and breaking down Ethiopia even further, right? Because you remember, you know, that the enemy still have their eyes on Ethiopia. If you know the scripture and the prophecy, there's some things that they fail to translate correctly in the Bible, you know what I mean? That they know what these things are. Like they try to remove Acts of the Apostles, chapter 8, verse 37. But anyway, brothers and sisters, we've been here for a moment. Got to jump off of this. We got to prepare for the podcast. And here, since this is being recorded around the Shabbat time, we say Shabbat Shalom. Send that salam. Salam tana tena yistaling. Right? And burhana salam lehulachu, light illumination of the true message here. Right? Burhana salam and salam and peace be to you all. Right? Be to you all in the name of the King of Kings Christ, Yeshua HaMoshiach. Right? And our Father, our Godfather and King of Kings, Kedemah, Hadassalasi, Yemesgen, Yemesgen, Amen.